Good day, fish keepers. In this video, I'm going to share you my basic Asian Arowana tank setup, feeding time, what do I feed them, the schedule of their water change, and plus, we have a bonus for today. I'm also going to share you how do I general clean the sump tank because it's a little bit clogged already. Feed my Asian Arowana and my motor stingray, the ARG1 pellet. ARG1. But I'm gonna, I, I already put it here. By the way guys, uh, I'm, by the way guys, I'm only uh, turning the oxygen on whenever I'm gonna feed them. So it's like a cue for them, the pellets. Basically, my tank size is 6 by 3 by 2 and a half feet or 336 gallons plus the sump is 6 by 2 by 2 or 100 gallons total of 436 gallons. The filtration that I use in my tank is the sump filtration. So from the main tank here Going down here, first chamber is just a simple white foam, bio balls, and then black mat. In the second chamber, Japanese mat. Third chamber, stones. Fourth, the K1 coldness. Third, I forgot what's, what it's called, but it's also a stone. And then on the last, in the last chamber is the pump going back to the main tank. My water change schedule. I only water change once a week. I dump water from around here, 30% of my tank, and then refill it back again, fresh from the faucet. I don't stock water. After that, some, I only clean this. Sometimes I rinse it with uh, with fresh water, and sometimes I'm just rep I'm just replacing it with a new one. That's it. That's my maintenance of my tank. Once a week water change. Because as you can notice, it's a little bit clogged because the water should only flow until here here and here but as you can see it's not it's it's almost overflowing and then the problem here is in the last chamber it's evaporating very quick so I need to general clean my sump and by the way guys, I only do this once a year. What we're gonna do now is we need to turn off everything because I'm gonna reduce the water and then remove everything. Remove everything and rinse it with water. So yeah. Turn off everything but not the light, okay? so we can see the dirt. After that, make sure that, your, that the container you're gonna use for your media is clean. Make sure that there is no soap in there because if there's a soap, it will gonna kill your fish.
By the way guys, as you can see, this mat is proportionally cut in my sump uh, in this chamber's size. So since I'm done with the first chamber, I already cleaned the black foam, bio balls, and later on, I'm gonna put the white foam on top of it. Then on the second chamber, I'm gonna, first, I'm gonna put the egg crate here at the bottom, since I already suck up all the dirt at the bottom. So we're done for this. Put it there and put the Japanese mat. This is called this is called the Japanese mat, guys. I'm not gonna touch the third, fourth, fifth chamber since all the good bacteria is living here in this part. I just don't wanna touch it because if I if I clean it, it might change the water parameter so high that the fishes will gonna be stressed. Second, third, and fourth chamber, we're gonna clean that after a couple of months, but not after a week. All right, guys, that's all for today's video. I hope you learned something. Please hit the like button. If you have any questions, comment, or any suggestions, just put it in the comment box below and don't forget to subscribe guys and hit the bell notification bell to be notified whenever I upload any videos that's all for today guys thank you for watching one love peace out